up guys, Big Wedge TJ here. Um, this is actually being filmed on Thanksgiving, right before the Thanksgiving day like thing starts. So uh, going ahead and do this for you guys real quick. You won't see this till probably the day after Thanksgiving. Sounds about right. You'll probably get a on Thanksgiving you guys will probably be watching my and one of my other vids. But um this is all about the my initial reactions to firmware two point two, what I think of it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you know, let you guys know. All right. Um, first of all, you guys know all about 2.2 is supposed to release, you know, Google Street View, emoji icons for the Japanese, um, which are now available through the for United States customers via jailbreaking. So if you guys want to check that out, um, really jailbreaking solved all my problems with the iPhone 3G experience. It really did. Besides flash and the camera and not a higher megapixel. Other than that, everything was solved for me. Um, so. Here's what the 2.2 software update does include. Uh, enhancements to maps with Google Street View, uh, public transit, walking directions, display address of drop pins, share location via email. Um, also improved stability and performance of Safari, which I've noticed um, does help a lot. I have only had Safari crash one time since my 2.2 update, so that's very good. Um, Street View really doesn't help me much. Unless you're, I, don't, I don't really know what the point of Street View is as far as that goes, I mean, it's really cool. It is really cool. You type in, like, an arena or, uh, you know, a specific place, and it can give you a street view of it. It's just cool. stalkerish cool. <laughs> but it is cool. Um, but there's not not a real need for it. But it's, I guess it's one step closer to turn-by-turn -turn GPS. Uh, also, enhancements to mail. Scheduling, okay, resolved issues, isolated issues of fetching email, which I haven't really seen yet. Uh, wide HTML email. Podcasts are now available for download an iTunes application, which is great. Uh, for those of you who like podcasts, I just started listening to podcasts about two days, three days ago, so tech podcast, just to get, you know, kind of my knowledge up so I can maybe share something with you guys. Um, decreasing call set for failures, improved sound quality of visual voicemail messages. I haven't noticed that yet. I don't know. And this is another cool thing, pressing the home button from any of the home screens. So say you have six home screens, you press it from the sixth one, it'll take you all the way back to the first one. And you're able to turn on or off um, auto-correction in the keyboard settings. And uh, that that's all the update pretty much um, included. So that was pretty cool. Um, Oh, there's also App Store modification that allows you to upgrade all your apps by just pressing, you know, you can upgrade all your apps, which is pretty cool. Um, now you have, when you delete applications, you can also rate them, which is also uh, a, a nice touch. All these are pretty good touches. Um, now, there's some bad parts about 2.2 also. I don't want you to think that this is all good. This is just the initial impressions and reactions to firmware 2.2. Um, what what it does it, it has been speculated by other users on the internet for this is formerly from uh, macrumors.com and this is just what they said uh, the battery meter doesn't show actual battery level okay um, I have not experienced this yet but several uh, iPhone 3G users are complaining about this that this is kind of a problem um, the main problem so far with these people is the picture resolution Okay, before, in 2.1, it, it only seems to be happening with 800, um, oh gosh, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry about this, guys. I should kind of research this, I guess, but. It, it only happens with 800 megapixels, or 800, uh, the, the grain quality of pictures. Only that, only that type, but it really dilutes the grain or the quality, I mean, the, the sharpness of the image, and what this does, it, it makes it kind of blurry. And if you send this via email, it makes it a thumbnail versus in the entire picture like it used to. So it, it, it is kind of a bad fix. So I smell a 2.1 update here, not 2.2.1 update, not too far away. Um, <clears throat> push email stopped working. I'm getting a lot of people saying that too. Uh, that push email is not, not good. I check my email once in a while. I really don't get that much in my email. If you guys want to email me, feel free. <laughs> I'll, I don't know. If you guys just want to email talk, I, don't know. I, I check my email about once every two or three hours. But I really don't get any, that much every day. I'm not like a big, huge corporate CEO 
anything like that. But uh, I just got personal use, and <clears throat> it's just good to check. Um, so that stopped working for some people, and now, um, kind of a you know contrast versus what the upgrades were supposed to be is 3G reception and other reception was supposed to get better. Many people are saying that the 3G reception got worse, and now in more more an edge now than 3G, which I have noticed this uh, specifically for my phone. Um, where I used to get about four bars of 3G, you know, almost full bars of 3G, is now down to two. Which, I also had kind of a speculation about 2.1 update, where it said more bars, uh, more reception. Um, <clears throat> to me, it didn't really fix the reception issues, it just put in fake bars, like where there, like, was normal, I don't know. It just made it look like you had more reception, when really, it's the same amount of reception, just uh, more bars. So, I don't know, that was, that's kind of, I guess, that, there's been a lot of speculation about that on the web as well. Um, not really fixing that, just, uh, you know, kind of giving it a quick fix kind of thing. But, um, my initial reactions is, it's a good update. I mean, it does fix a lot of things. Um, Safari crashes were a big pain in the ass for me. Uh, did not like those, those were a big deal. Um, downloading podcasts via Wi-Fi or over the air now is very cool for those people who uh, like listening to that kind of stuff. Um, push email working, yes or no, you get, you get best of both worlds, and the street view is really a cool idea, I, I do like that idea, one step closer to turn by turn guys, and it looks like when the turn by turn does come out for the iPhone, it'll be good, it'll be good, hold it, it's coming out, I, I promise you, it's coming out, sooner or later, either somebody will make a jailbreak, jailbroken application, or it'll actually come out, um, Emoji icons does not really affect U.S. customers unless you jailbreak your iPhone and you want emoji icons. Uh, so, it's not really been a big buying selling point for me. I do smell a 2.2.1 update here coming up pretty soon just because of the uh, problems with the picture downloading, uh, fetching email, um, different stuff like that. I, I, I think that there it won't be far off before that happens. But other than that, I, I did it and... Um, <laughs> Take all these tech pants, but uh, I, I did do it to mine, and uh, there you guys go. It's it's already real jailbroken. I just wrote down all my jailbroken applications before I did it. I'll go ahead and show you guys that this is really uh, 2.2, but it does work good. Uh, I do really like this street view kind of idea. Like I said, it, it is kind of stalkerish, and not really. There's not really a point to it too much, but mm, it does. It is kind of cool. All right, there you go. See, 2.2, version 2.2, so, there you guys go, this is 2.2, and it is cool, I do like it, but, you know, there are some problems, which there is with every firmware, um, but initially, it's a, pr it's a pretty good setup, so, that's my, uh, you know, thoughts, kind of my thinking on that, so, I hope that helps you guys out, and either upgrading or not, would I suggest this if you already have a jailbroken iPhone? If Safari crashes are a big deal to you and they're happening frequently, upgrade. If not, it's no real point, okay? Um, other than that, if, if you don't jailbreak your iPhone and it's just normal, yeah, go ahead and update because it's easy for you guys. Everything just re-downloads to your iPhone. So, yeah, that's my initial thoughts and reactions, I guess. So, hope that helped you guys out and maybe getting it or not. And uh, I'll go ahead and see you guys in a little bit. All right, this is Big White Sign now. Peace.